This is a 1968 Datsun 520. It has been sitting for probably 40 years. So the whole front end's rusted up and froze up. So last week, on the video I posted, we took it for a yard drive, and everything now should be loosened up so I can see what's wore out, what's not. We're gonna start with that, checking out the front end, and then we're gonna look at brakes too. Should be a great time, and I will be your host, the one and only infamous Kentucky Yankee, without a doubt. First, we'll check out the driver's side. Side to side motion, I feel nothing. So that's good, everything's tight. Now this way, up and down. Oh, hello. I feel a lot of play. And it would appear to be kingpins. Let's check the other side. There is a little bit of movement. And it would appear to be an idler arm. Has just a little bit of play in it, so not bad. Now, eh. this direction again, we have worn out kingpins. A view of the wore out kingpin from underneath the vehicle. Mm. That's a shame. And a close up view. This is the idler arm right here. And this shaft up here is where our play is. It's so minute, even if I wiggled it, you wouldn't be able to see it on camera. Very small amount of play. Boy. We'll remove the brake shoes. Which, by the way, look pretty darn good. I'll probably reuse them. These bearings will have to be cleaned, inspected, and greased. So we'll remove this. Probably put a new seal in the back. Now watch this pro tip. Ah. You see that's how you get the bearing out without ruining the seal, which we are going to replace anyways. Isn't that tricky? I'm gonna grease everything up, but our parts are still feeling a little crunchy. I would say we're still gonna have some more worn out parts before it's over with. Got to unhook this wheel cylinder. Let's uh, go there. Little clip, little snip.
like a cat. Hmm. What we have right here is a cap over the kingpin. And I don't know how in the heck you'd get that out without damaging it. But the kingpin is down in there. Let's try a ball joint press. I have heard the old timers say that these kingpins were a pain in the butt. She just came loose, I do believe. We have our kingpin. We have a bearing. That's what this is and it fits right here on the bottom part. We have two washers right there. They go on the top and then there's two brass bushings inside of here. One on this side and one on this side. I'm going a little deeper than I initially anticipated. We'll take a little pressure off of this situation here. Ah, did you see that? She's ready to come out. Not to mention, this is a little unsafe because, let me show you. In some circumstances, this could be considered a little unsafe, so you need to be careful in what you're doing when you do stuff like this. You don't want to get hurt. The reason there's so much pressure on this is because the torsion bars that are located back here in this area, that's what causes that pressure. And if you're wondering if you don't have torsion bars, then you have coil springs. I like torsion bars better. Mm, she came loose, that's nice. Interesting pins they put throughout this truck. If you have a rusty bolt, hit it with an impact. It's either gonna break loose or break, one or the other. Came loose. This little life of mine couldn't get much better, could it? Ah, but it just did. That was nerve wracking. Ah, wrong way. Frustrating me. Aluminum punch. And done. Here we go, passenger side, second verse. Same as the first, just a little bit louder and a little bit worse. Let's see how fast I can rip through this. If you don't have a cotter pin, just use a nail, and I promise you the results will be exactly the same.
Another cotter nail. I think this will be an easier way to get this kingpin out. Good grief. We need to get to a stopping point, but these right here are what we call in the industry slap worn out. So I'm gonna have to remove this bar and replace whatever bushings need to be replaced in that. To access these bolts, I have to go under the hood. There's two of them on each side. What I didn't notice, and I wish I had, there are shims in there, and those shims adjust your caster and camber. So that sucks, because I would have liked to left them where they were. Pretty sure these are not in the exact right order, so that's not a good deal. Let's smack her around a little bit and see what happens. Oh! It's a cap, just like the other bottom joint. Huh, that's I just, look at that. Woof. Worn out. All right. So what we've got is this shaft, a dust boot, this piece right here that'll slip on there, and then our cap right here that threads on to this and the outside, there's a rubber bushing inside of here. This is a rubber bushing. This is not going to be it for the front end. We have more to do, but this is going to be my stopping point now. Let's look at the rear brakes. Passenger side rear, brake pads are worn out. We are missing a hold down or something. The wheel cylinder is garbage. Backing plate all bent up. Not looking so good back here. Woo. Ah. All right, another set of worn out, crappy, messed up brakes. Has the Kentucky Yankee lost his mind? Clearly the answer to that is yes. I am slowly getting over my head. This is gonna be a very costly and expensive project, not to mention all the labor involved. So if you love the Benny and you wanna help out, all you have to do is like, share, subscribe, and leave a comment. Thanks for watching, guys. We'll see you next time.